Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to Sorelli. It's Sarah here and in today's video I wanted to tell you guys my skin story. So let's just jump right into it. My skin is currently, uh, I currently think it looks pretty good. Um, not a lot of scars, not a lot of pimples, but it used to be very different. <laughs> Ever since I was in high school, I have had pimples, um, whether it was worse or better, I've just always had them, I grew up with them. I think it started in my last year of primary school. I remember I started to get little pimples on my forehead, I believe. And at that time I thought it was super cool because it meant I was going into puberty and I was growing up. Um, but later, when I got to high school, I realized that not everyone had pimples and that it was just a few people and that it really wasn't cool at all to have pimples. But my parents later told me that they both had very bad acne when they were little and my dad also had pimples all over his face. Um, even my siblings have them, so I guess it's just something that runs in the family. So most of my time during high school, I had pimples. Um, it basically ruined every single picture and I have tried everything. And when I mean everything, I mean everything to try to get them to get off my face. But I just couldn't find anything that worked. I went into all drugstores, got tea tree oil, all sort of butters, basically everything that claimed to get you clear skin, but nothing worked. Until one day I went to the GP and um, she gave me a bottle of, I think it was a sort of oil or serum, something that I had to put on the acne and that it would, um, yeah, it would dry out the acne so I would have less on my face and that actually worked. I had to just put it on something and then I would just have to apply it at night and then also in the morning. And that worked perfectly. I didn't have acne anymore, just a few pimples every now and then like normal people. And I think I then had normal skin for about two years. But then when I, um, I basically got my diploma, went to university and like I already said in another video, I had to wake up really, really early because I had to be in Amsterdam um, by 9 and I live in Rotterdam so I had to travel for 2 hours which meant that I had to get up around uh, 5.30 every single morning just to get to school. And also because I sleep really late, I don't think I sleep before 12. So I had a little amount of sleep every single night and I do think that's a big factor in why I had really bad acne. But right now I'll show you a video of how bad it was, one of the bad days on which I had acne. So as you can tell, it was basically everywhere and I had these um, red pimples that would just stay for a lot of days. I think some would even stay for like two weeks. I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to use. I basically tried everything. I even tried um, potato mixed with cinnamon, which really, really hurts. And it also sort of burned my skin, I would say. Um, because afterwards I would have red skin. Um, it was always red, my skin was always red. But after I'd applied that, it just really hurts and it got even more red. But at that point of time, I was willing to try everything. I was willing to go through every amount of pain just to have less acne. At some point, I even tried garlic because on YouTube I saw that garlic can help and it just helps get you less acne but I didn't know that garlic basically burns your skin and that it can leave you with a wound so I was left with two burns on my face one on my forehead and one on my cheek um, 
I'll show you a picture of how that looked. But thankfully it cleared up. I didn't have any garlic wounds anymore. Oh, and by the way, the garlic wound was after my skin was basically recovering. It was after, it was extremely bad. So I had good skin for about two years. And then when I got to uni, it got extremely bad. It was everywhere. So I tried everything, every single food in the kitchen. I tried it and we have an Arab kitchen. So we have a lot of different types of foods. But yeah, I tried everything, nothing worked. So one day I went to the GP and I will never forget that day because I walked in and she knows that I never visit her. I never have any health issues, alhamdulillah. I'm he always healthy. But that time I just was so desperate. I didn't know what to do anymore because nothing worked. And I was like, okay, but come on. I had good skin for two years and then all of a sudden it's extremely bad. How is that even possible? What did I do? And it all started after I came back from Morocco. Suddenly my skin was bad, reddish, whatever. But yeah, anyway, I walked into her office. She looked at me, she told me to sit down and she basically examined my face. I remember she even touched my face. I was like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, she touched my face. She touched the pimples. She asked some questions and she looked at me like, she just felt so bad for me and i was like are you serious is it that bad but yeah looking back at pictures and videos i realized that it was but she just looked at me like she really wanted to help me which is so sweet so um yeah she told me that now was the perfect time that i had come to her at that time because it was almost summer well almost i was uh, two months away from summer and she told me that I had to be on antibiotics because she thought I had a bacterial infection since I didn't have it before, at least not this bad, and that it just started after I came back from Morocco. So yeah, she thought it was a bacterial infection and that's why she put me on antibiotics. She told me to use it for six weeks, so I had to um, eat one tablet mixed with water after a meal in the morning every single day um so i did that for five weeks and then i had to come back to her and she said um yeah it's it's looking better and i actually after one week i already noticed that it was a lot better so i was really happy i was like finally i found something that can work so these are the tablets that i used let me open it for you so this is what's inside there's eight tablets and i had to um, consume one tablet a day in the morning or at night basically whenever you want and after one week i started noticing that there were less pimples on my face and that they were just less reddish and they were just less big so after five weeks, I came back to her and she told me that I should continue taking the tablets for about two months. So she gave me a lot of boxes that would last me for a couple of weeks. And um, I just took them every single day. And then thankfully before summer, they were basically all gone. Um, I did still have a lot of scars, but I really didn't mind the thing that worried me the most was the acne so yeah i was really happy about that because at the time that it was really really bad i remember sitting in a lecture and just not being able to focus because the acne on my forehead was so bad that i could feel it grow and it just really hurt so bad so i wasn't able to focus i was just like oh my god it's gonna get even bigger it's gonna get even more infected what should i do so i'm really happy that this medicine worked so she gave me the tablets um she gave me antibiotics and she also gave me this 
benzoyl pyroxide and I had to apply this at night and then also in the morning on my pimples just to dry them out and that sort of stuff which also really really helped this stuff is amazing so I had really big and really white pimples or they were extremely red and that's because um, the blood cells in your body are attracted to the bacteria in your skin and since I had so many bacteria in my skin the blood cells basically just went all in that area which really caused it to be so white and also extremely red in your skin also make sure that if there's a lot of blood cells going to that area or if there's a lot of bacteria basically then it also makes sure there's more blood flowing towards that area so that can also cause the redness of the skin yeah since i study biomedical sciences i'm really into uh, what causes the process and that sort of stuff so i'm also telling you guys that but that was my skin horror story i hope you enjoyed I will make sure to insert pictures so you're really able to see basically the process, how bad it was. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. For next week's video, I filmed a skincare routine for you guys. So if this is something you would like to watch, then please stay tuned. I was thinking about turning this in sort of a series where I basically share my experience skin-wise and where I show you my skincare routine, give you tips and tricks. Um, so please tell me in the comments down below if this is something you're interested in. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I don't feel no pressure.